capitaine. That was a failed but dramatic attempt at an origami crane. Let us find out why origami is such a badass dimension slayer. <laughs> Origami is not additive or subtractive. It's simply transformative with the material already present. But this paper folding or manipulation of materials belies the imagination of the artist and engineer within. The term origami comes from two Japanese words, oro to fold and kami, paper. The Chinese first invented paper making around 105 CE, and it was greatly prized, often reserved for special occasions and religious rituals. But as paper making spread, so too did paper folding. One of the oldest and most direct references to paper folding appeared in a 1680 Japanese poem by Aihara Sakaku, in which the author writes about paper butterflies that appear in a dream. Fast forward to the 1950s and 60s, and Akira Yoshizawa, a self-taught origami artist, revolutionizes paper folding by diagramming his folds. In the documentary Between the Folds, Yoshizawa says, all origami starts with a flat surface. As this paper transforms into three dimensions, origami has within it all the possibilities we associate with creative art. Yoshizawa creates he did 50,000 models, never selling one. He dedicated himself solely to the art of origami, supporting himself with odd jobs. Today there are many different types of origami, and one of the ways to gauge their complexity is by the number of folds in a model. For instance, basic origami is around 20 steps of diagram, while elaborate ones may have up to 300. But let's talk about the origami elephant in the room, specifically Sifo Mabana's life-size white elephant, fashioned from a single 220 pound square of hand made paper. Still, the most extreme examples of origami can be found in practical applications. You know the airbags in a car, right? That little piece of technology came out of origami nerdism. According to artist Robert Lang, quote, the airbag flattening algorithm came from all the developments of circle packing and the mathematical theory that was really developed just to create insects, things with legs. Now consider that origami is being used in everything from telescopes and solar panels to robots and drug delivery systems. In fact, Eric Domain, the top origami theorist in the world at MIT is using origami to fold human proteins to fight disease. He says that proteins, when they don't fold the right way, can cause disease like Alzheimer's. The idea is that synthetic proteins that are the right shape could bind to the protein but not the human, quote, kind of like the Transformers where robots fold themselves up but unfurl, locked into human form. And it all starts with a simple fold, changing the material's memory, changing its destiny. By the way, origami is not for those with pulpus lacerata phobia, a fear of paper cuts. So what about you? What's your favorite origami creation? Me, I've got to pick the uh, little origami unicorns from Blade Runner. Me, uh, the replica of B. Arthur from Golden Girls. Let us know what your favorite is in the comments below. And to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.